Today, I have a very exciting video for you all. Today, we're going to compare $200 Leica camera to a $20 disposable or reusable camera. Now, I know that might be confusing to some of you. It's even confusing to me. So we'll just ask the people who made this camera. It's called the Hikari Cam. Yeah, we're just gonna take some photos around here and compare side by side the quality of the photos and also what it takes to prepare each of these cameras and then in the end I will give a thorough comparison of the both of them. Yeah, I'm just really excited but it's really hot right now so let's go. So we're from Studio Hikari. Our product is Hikari Cam. Hikari Cam is a reusable disposable camera. So unlike normal disposable camera where you use it and you cannot use it anymore and people usually just put it on display or dispose of it, our camera, we can refill it for you. So after you finish using the camera, you can send it back to us and we will refill it with new film and we can also develop and scan the film for you. It just has better value for the customers. So the idea first started when a lot of people start bringing Fuji disposable camera from Japan. And those cameras, uh, people usually buy it in Japan, use it, and when they come to Indonesia, they don't know what to do with it. All right, so now that I've got my crew together, we are going to prepare the camera. We're going to prepare the Leica and also the Hikari cam. And then we'll take the photos. One, two, three, run! <laughs> Terus siapin film baru ya. Filmnya ditarik dikit. Terus tinggal dimasukin aja. Nah, terus yang kita harus pastiin tuh dia masuk ke si masuk ke sprocket holes ya. Terus kelihatan masuk tuh kalau dia udah tarik. Terus dia di sini bakal langsung ngegulung. Nah. Kalau udah di sini kita bisa tutup kamera ya. Terus cara ngecek dia udah ngegulung atau belum? Ya dari si film rewindnya bakal gerak. Kalau udah gerak berarti filmnya udah loaded. Terus tinggal dipakai aja. Terus dia ngekopang sekali lagi itu buat ngebuang film yang kebakar tadi. Alright, so we've already prepared the Leica camera and as for this, literally no preparation because all you need to do is um, just press the shutter. But we've also already made the shutter speed and the aperture the same for the Leica and this, and we already filled it with the same film that it uses for the Hikari, so we can get a proper comparison. All right, now let's find some subjects to shoot. <laughs> Woo. They can be our subject. I'm just gonna use this, use that, yeah? And then we take the same. Mm -hmm. Do you want to Just on a white wall. going to move to another venue because it's so freaking hot and my mic won't even stick to me anymore uh, we got some good shots I think just can't really wait to see until it's developed because 
I met some lovely kids back there right now for some ice cream. Alright you guys, so it's been a week, or even less than a week, since I made what This is the package that they sent me back, and it contains the photos. So we're gonna review them one by one. Ooh. So you can also develop your photos at Hikari, Hikari Dev Scan. So if you have any film laying around, you can just send it to them over in Bandung, and they will send it back to you like this. Quite nice. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, all right. The negatives. This, I believe, is, oh, this is the M6. This is the Leica negative. So I'll have negatives for the disposable Hikari cam. I guess this is a some kind of trick, huh? Because I don't know which one is from the Leica and which one is from the disposable. You got here a classic photo that has been quite burnt. By the way, they also sent me the digital copy and I have seen the digital copies and they look very, very similar. I guess one photo that I can, you know, kind of differentiate the Leica between the Hikari cam is when we need to have a certain focus. So the Hikari cam cannot, you know, have a focus because its f-stop is um, fixed. Wow, they look astonishingly similar. Of course, we used also the same film, and that is the Fuji Color 200. Um, so they are bound to look alike. I love these shots of um, Tamani Smile Not So Cute that I took. Um, They're like architectural shots, and I don't know, I really like how they look. The building itself is really pretty, so. This is a photo of Era, who took all the footage for me yesterday. And then we bumped in a little bookshop. Oh, I think these are all the Hikari Cam ones. So we have the photos of the bookstore. So I've made a clear distinction and now I can see which one is different. Let's start with the building pics. So this is a pic of me under the sunlight from the Hikari cam. And remember, all of the settings are the same that we used for the Hikari cam and the Leica cam. So this is the one taken with the Leica, and this is the one taken with the Hikari cam. If I show you digitally, I know that you can see the clear distinction between these two, and the Hikari is just a uh, more I wouldn't say greenier, but the Leica one is definitely a lot um, stronger and more on focus while the Hikari one isn't. So this is the one that I think you can see a clear distinction. Now let's see for another photo. For another photo that I took was this one. And this is the Leica one and this is the Hikari Cam one. Honestly, I like the Hikari Cam version much more. I think it gives um, it goes with the look that I'm trying to get with this little statue over here. Whereas the Leica is just too focused and too... It's actually an unfocus. It's quite a blur, huh? Did I move? But it's just too vivid for me. I don't know how to explain it in camera terms, but I think you can see. This is one of my favorite photos that I took with the kids. And this is the one that was taken with the Hikari cam. And this is the one taken with the Leica. Again, I do prefer the Hikari Cam one much, much more. For shooting people and, you know, trying to get that sort of uh, bokeh feel, obviously I would have to choose the Leica. Here we have the Bapa Sate. This is the Leica, this is the Hikari Cam. But when you see her side to side, 
this does give a more vintage feel rather than the Leica. The Leica is much more professional, obviously. It's $2,000. Now this is such a beautiful picture of the statue at Lapan Banteng and this is the one made by Hikari Kam and this is the one made by the Laika. I was shooting right at the sun and I was really really afraid that it would just turn out to be a backlight of the statue but we can see a uh, color. So in here of course you get a really crisp photo but in the Hikari Kam version we get this kind of nice wash of color it's like this blue over here, and you can still see the statue and not just the backlight. So I was very, very impressed with the photos. All of the photos that I taken, because it was so sunny, I didn't use flash on the Hikari cam, but I do advise you to use flash if you're shooting at night, if you're shooting indoors. If you see that it's a little bit dimmer than it should be, always, always go for the flash. All right, so I've shown you all the photos side by side from the Leica and from the Hikari cam. One of the camera costs $2,000 and one of it costs a mere $20. So the conclusion is for me, as a newbie, you know, if you're just trying out the whole analog film, you should definitely try the Hikari Cam. And even if you're not a newbie, even if you've been doing this for years and years, I think the Hikari Cam is a really nice way to, you know, just point and shoot and get the image that you're trying to look for because of course you can do that with the Leica, but there is still preparation time that you have to deal with, whereas with the Hikari, you know, you can shoot beautiful pictures with just a simple click. Of course, you can't really, really compare it if you were being super technical. There is a price to everything, and with $2,000, of course, you pay extra for extra quality. But that is not saying that the Hikari Cam could not compete with the Leica. It is beautiful photos and I really want you to try and get your own Hikari cam and try to take pictures, you know. You don't need to think too much of the technicalities, just think, just think of the composition and shoot. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you find it helpful. Comment below any questions that you might have regarding anything, the film, the camera, you know any burning little questions that you might have and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Blah, blah, blah. I cannot speak anymore. I'll see you in another video. Bye. Chimbi, okay. Quimbi, come here. Can you please just photo me one time? Okay, pitch an idea, but... You photo me dari atas. Can you photo me dari atas? I'm like blue getting it all on my crummy feet. Mm. It looks wrong. Bagus ya hasilnya. Can you tell which one is which? <laughs>